The floodlights are shining down on the players here at Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Manchester United up against West Ham United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, no surprise really, they're matching up here, but there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. And this confrontation is underway. Playing with purpose and control. Can he finish? Well, not an effort for his own personal scrapbook. Cristiano Ronaldo. Given away by Manchester United. Calvert-Lewin. Can't miss, surely! An early goal, it is the ideal opening. Well, let's take another look, and wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So underway again here, one nil to score. Bruno Fernandes. You can't help feeling when you look at the table that when you're playing dominant football such as they have been, that they're going to lap the field. Well, there seems to be no stopping them at the moment. They've been by far and away the best team. Unless something drastic happens, I can't see how they let this slip. Good looking sequence. Lanzini couldn't grab hold of it. So a corner here. He's driven in the corner. The pressure was high and they could be in here. Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. It's been given away here by Ronaldo. Havert Lewin. Well, it looked as though they might be in just for a second or two. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Will they profit from this situation? Surely the equaliser. And it's come off the keeper. Excellent block. Aaron Cresswell. Ben Rama. Crossing opportunity. Well, ruled to have taken up an illegal position only just. Greenwood. An awful lot of green space to run into. 
but nothing comes of it this might have potential oh beating his opponent with ease well, perhaps an opportunity for the Hammers to extend their lead here over it comes well not cleared away completely that's a routine take well let's go over to Alex Scott now for news of a goal in the Leeds game Alex it's a goal for Leeds they've scored the opener with 29 minutes on the clock thank you Alex he has time to play it over McTominay now with Sancho played into the box a bit short with the clearance Van der Beek onto Ronaldo Shaw Van der Beek and he takes it on great save by Ariola. well just listen to the fans they know this is a big chance here well, he didn't have too much room to work with, but a long way off target. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. Could cross it in here. Can they put it away? Still a chance. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Said Benrama. Press well. Calvert Lewin. Lanzini. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Shot. Mason Greenwood well in terms of added time a minimum of one minute and the cross is very much on and that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams well how often do we say this Cristiano Ronaldo has struggled to get into the game not really making much of an impact Stuart well, I've been disappointed with his game so far. As those touches show us, he just hasn't been getting into the right sort of areas. That's got to improve if they're to get back. Back underway then, and work to do for United, given the scoreline. Van der Beek. It's with McTominay. And I'm hearing a goal has gone in in the Leicester City game. Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal for Brighton. The ball was pulled back from the goal line. He got over it well and was able to keep his shot down. It was a great goal. It's now 2-1 with 48 minutes on the clock. Cheers, Alex. Has a go. And blocked for now. Delivering it. Oh, breezing past him. That's very decisive goalkeeping. Well, considerable transfer speculation in recent times. And now, Stuart, it has emerged that United have got their man. Well, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two. And he seems to have a bright future ahead of him. Hopefully it turns out to be a good move and he can continue to develop his career. It could be up for grabs. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, his skill level...
It's so high, you're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. It's going to be a story of two substitutes on at the same time for United. Double substitution for Manchester United. Coming off the pitch, number 34, Donny van der Beek. And number 20, Jesse Lingard. Sancho to be replaced by number 14, Greenwood. Jesse Lingard. And number 10, Marcus Rashford. Wan-Bissaka. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, as you can see, West Ham haven't had that much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Just a quick reminder, we'll have FA Cup fourth round action coming up for you live. It's Manchester United facing West Ham United. Well, it's great to have a break from the league for the players and the fans. Everybody loves this competition and so do I. It should be a good game. He could pick out a teammate. Suchek. Lanzini. And a decent save. Full credit. Jesse Lingard. Changing situation in the Leeds game. There's been a goal there. Alex Scott with the news. And it's a goal for Newcastle United. It was all in the build-up play for me. So many different players involved. And once the space opened up, he took his chance superbly. It's now 2-1 with 69 minutes played. What a game we have here, Derek. Alex keeping us right up to date. I oh, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Just a quick reminder, we'll have FA Cup fourth round... Action coming up for you live. It's West Ham United facing Manchester United. Well, the oh, they might score here, Stuart. Oh, magnificent reaction. Declan Rice. Well, nicely cut out. And he's made headway. Terrific save. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And over comes the corner. Well, it's off target. They were watching him like a hawk. Bruno Fernandes. Well, 
Juan Bisaka. Scott McTominay. Ten minutes to go. Bruno Fernandes. Well, not long left now, but these United fans are driving their team on to get this equaliser. I'm sure they get one more big chance before the end. Time's not on their side, though. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Oh, a goal! An equaliser in the closing stages! Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Jesse Lingard. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Havert Lewin. Excellent vision. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Manchester United. Coming off the pitch, number 23, Luke Shaw. Could he answer the pitch? Number 27, Alex Tellis. Bruno Fernandes. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. And they need to get tighter. But nothing comes of it. Lanzini. So full time here and the two teams are locked together. A point apiece, a share of the spoils. Manchester United, your assessment of their performance? Well, Derek, a draw is a fair result in the end because they never really looked in full control of the game, which is disappointing when you consider the quality of their squad. Well, one thing we know, Jesse Lingard loves to attack with vigour and that's exactly what he's done in this game, Stuart. Well, they look to be a beaten team, but he just kept going. And what a composed finish it was. He showed a lot of quality today.